Richie are going to show us the one-legged stand and you probably already know what I'm going to say. Make sure you have a kitchen bench or a chair close by. So today's main exercises we're going to be looking at balance but first we're going to do a mobility exercise for the angle. So you may need a support for this exercise and um, so you're going to stand with your feet hip distance and parallel and you're going to lengthen up through the crown of the head. So taking one leg just slightly bring it in front of the body just a few inches off the floor and you're going to begin to flex and point your ankle joint so that just means you're bringing your toe up towards your nose and then pointing it down towards the floor so make sure the movement is coming from your ankle joint we're aiming to do about 10 of these on one side keeping the standing leg the knee nice and soft keeping that length through the crown of the head and then just replace that leg down and we're going to switch sides so just transferring the weight bringing the leg forwards flexing pointing right from that ankle joint aim to do about 10 of these normal breath and then just relax so today's main exercise we're going to look at a balance exercise so first of all you'll need something for support so we've got a chair or you might want to use kitchen bench this is called a one-legged stand so what we're going to do is Transferring our body weight onto one side, we're going to raise the other foot up off the floor, just a few inches. So when we're doing this exercise, make sure you have good posture, you're standing up nice and tall, lengthening up through the crown of your head, and just trying to keep your balance there. Some people might find this easy, so one way of making it a little bit harder is to reduce contact with the chair. So you might want to go from having a full hand on, to having no hands, or maybe it's just one finger if you need to. If you gain, if you want to make this a little bit different or make it a bit more challenging, we're just going to raise up onto your toes. So that foot that you're standing on, we're just going to push up through the balls of your foot into your big toe, raise up nice and slow, and then relax back down again. Once you've done that on one side, you might want to try the other side as well. We're now going to look at a stretch for the calf, so the muscle on the bottom of your leg. So we're going to take a nice step forward, making sure that knee comes, the front knee bends, the back leg's nice and straight with your heel pushing into the floor. And again, we're going to look at that lovely length up through the crown of the head. So we're going to hold this stretch for about 10 to 15 seconds, just a regular breath. And we're just going to make sure that that front knee doesn't travel over your toes. Once you've held this stretch, return back to that center point and we're going to change sides. So you're going to take a nice step forward, Bend in that front knee, back leg lovely and straight, push the heel into the floor so you feel a nice stretch in your calf muscle. Up nice and tall, lengthening through the crown of the head. And just relax back to that start position. It's really important when you're doing these balance exercises that you do challenge yourself. If you don't challenge yourself, then your balance will not improve and then you will be more likely to fall later in life. Now, if you enjoyed those exercises, why not check out more on the Gateshead Older People's Assembly website and you can give us a call as well. Let us know what you thought about the past couple of months exercise routines and if they've been beneficial to you. Mm -hmm.